Yeah. All right. Let's talk about some NFL, some star bench and cut. Uh-oh. I haven't even. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I have. This one's kind of easy for me. Who wants to go? You can go, champ. You can go, champ. Okay. Put me on the spot. Why don't you? Okay. Here we go. All right. Um, I'm going to start Big Ben. I'm starting Big Ben. Cornerstone for the Pittsburgh franchise. I mean, cornerstone. I mean, if it wasn't for Big Ben, they wouldn't have the Super Bowls that they have now. They became Sixburg because after a litany of quarterbacks that Bill Cowell went through, it was like a revolving door at one point for the Pittsburgh Steelers. So I got to start Big Ben. Um, Love Russ. Love Russ, man. But I got to bench. Russ, you're going on the bench. And um, But, you know, at his peak, he was very, very good. People underestimate Russ, man. I mean, had some of the best fourth quarter comebacks that you ever want to ha- that you ever want to see. Had third, I mean, it all has almost over 35 fourth quarter comebacks in his career. So I think that people that are just saying that he's a he's a merchant of the Legion of Boom is really not really watching the game at a certain point. Because if you really look at that year where Atlanta made it to the Super Bowl, they almost came back on us that year. You know. And let's not forget 2015, to... Russ, particularly the second half of the season, he was yes. putting up. And he was just putting in that work. So, I mean, plus, you know, he's a shorter quarterback. He's not he, – Russ is – I'm the same height as Russ. He's only he's only, he's only only six feet on his they best game. They say 5'10", 5'11". Yeah. He's 5'11"? He, he's like Drew Brees, yeah. Like, wow. I you told me a, Drew Brees is not even six feet. Drew Brees, not, I, I see right. him in person. But to see how short, to see how I short, I see him right. in person. So I'm right. like, what? The, oh, to that's see, Drew Brees. To, to see how yeah. short he, to see how short uh, Russ mm. is. There's a picture of him and Tua side by side, and Tua towers over him. Mm. No, but uh, when I first saw Drew Brees when he came in Atlanta, I say, "Hey, that's Drew Brees." Say, "No way, that's Drew Brees." <laughs> that's, that's he said, Drew "Where Brees. Drew Brees at? Man? Where Drew Brees at? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's not Drew Brees. That's probably how Panthers fans feel about Bryce Young. Where the hell is Bryce that's, Young? <laughs> that's not Drew Brees. They know no, no, Brees. no, no. That's how Arizona fans feel about my man Kyler. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, nah, yeah that's a. <laughs> Now, when we talk now, now I see you no, know, but the thing is, I know this is another subject for another day. I have seen Cam Newton in person, and that's, that's Cam guy. Newton. <laughs> so when he came out the tunnel in the Georgia Dome when he played against my Atlanta Falcons, I was like, "Yeah, that's him." I but, seen, I, mean, I seen, uh, I seen. Believe it or not, I seen Mac Jones in person. Like, I'm like, bro, like TV don't do you justice. You, you, you way bigger than most people in this building. <laughs> <laughs> but. uh <laughs> Russ doesn't get the credit that he deserves, probably because of his his mild mannered personality, you know, the whole you know, um, you know, the whole Captain America attitude, you know, and that and you know these days and in, in these days full of clicks and likes and stuff like that, you're not going to get a lot of credit for that. So don't go to Atlanta. I'm telling you, <laughs> don't go to Atlanta. Don't do don't do that. <laughs> But uh, you won't get you, you, you and Sierra gonna get killed in Atlanta. <laughs> I'm sorry, not not killed as in killed. I mean killed they as gonna, in people gonna, gonna mock you, dolls. internet memes and all that. I stuff. mean, you know what I would find funny. I, I'm just being honest. You know what I would think that would be the funniest stuff alive if I caught Russ listen to a future CD. If he was just working out, and, I would literally laugh because it's like, well, I don't give a crap what he says about me. I still like his music. And that will be the huge if he ever made a video like that, that will be the biggest, like you know, mm. regardless how much oh you talk man, about Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Yeah, I, mean, I would love Twitter. to see that. Regardless Twitter of how much you talk about me, dude, I'm still a fan of yours, man. And regardless how because I know you're a fan of mine because you be talking about me all the time. Man, so Twitter, just Twitter would not be a good play. Atlanta's so scary to play in because if you suck, you're done, bro. You might as well just leave the next the, the next to week. Be honest, <laughs> the, the reason why that is, man, this Georgia as a whole has not had that 
outside of the Braves, outside of the Braves, we have never had a professional team win anything. We haven't. I mean, other than the Braves. So that's how come you see a, a lot of this, a lot of this grudging process between us and the Falcons because we've had opportunities to win, but didn't. I mean, I mean, had some of the best, I mean, even with the Hawks, I mean, in the early nineties, I mean, had some of the best teams money could buy, but yet you trade our best player in franchise history to the Clippers in his prime. 1992 was arguably the best team that we had in order to overtake Michael Jordan. We had a little bit of everybody. 2021, the Hawks had a chance to go to the finals. I remember it was game, I believe it was it game six or game seven. The Hawks had a chance to go to the finals. I don't and think Gian- they were ready doing and, that. And, and, and Gian- Giannis was out, though. That, that's, yeah. that, that was I the don't fact think they were ready. I really don't. Even with Giannis being out, I don't think they were ready. That team was way too young. Drew, Drew, Drew Holiday put on a clinic. I think the Trae I think the reason why I think the reason why they were so upset is because remember Atlanta versus Philly that series. A lot of people thought Philadelphia was going to win that series, and then the Ben Simmons debacle. Yeah, yeah, the whole uh, Nick Anderson part two debacle. Yeah, but, um, but yeah, that's the reason why it's so tenuous in Atlanta. And plus, you know, for some reason, people can't forget about Mike Vick, man. I do not know why, but they just can't. Can't let him go. I mean, they won't. I mean, I don't understand why, but. I and mean, speaking of Georgia, you a Bulldogs fan and you cutting your boy staff. So, yeah, because the thing it. is, no, it doesn't. Because the thing is, he was never the best quarterback in the league. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've never considered it, even at his peak in Detroit, he was never considered the best quarterback in the league. Nor now, in he his division. Great. Or in his division. He was always was he? overshadowed by Aaron Rodgers and other quarterbacks that were in that division. Wasn't top so, five either. Yeah, he wasn't top five. So. Oh hell, I, I I put I put Stafford above Jay Cutler. That's just yeah. me. So, yeah, <laughs> Jay Cutler is a, that's a whole nother ball game. But yeah, um, yeah. But as far as you know, back to Atlanta, Atlanta, the Atlanta Falcons, the Atlanta, the the Georgia fan base wants a champion to say we were champions. Like I always, like I said before, Georgia won the the first national championship that we won. We don't want a dynasty. We just want one. And the fact that we came out with two and had that winning streak, you can't tell us. You The running joke in the SEC was that it had been almost over 30 years since we won a national championship. Now that that's over, we won back-to-back, something that only – something that no other SEC team has done other than Alabama. I mean, it, that's something to be said about that. But the city of Atlanta, the state of Georgia, wants a champion. That's how come we cling to our teams like we do. I mean, the Atlanta Braves, we already talking about World Series talk. Georgia Bulldogs, we already talk about National Championship talk. We already talking about if we – and you heard it all last year. Man, if we had a quarterback, we would have a Super Bowl. Right. And that's one thing that Atlanta and the state of Georgia wants. Wants a Super Bowl, man. Just one Super Bowl to set the city on fire. So we can eat lemon pepper wings and take that trophy to Waffle House. That's what we want. <laughs> we want to be able to take that trophy to the Waffle House. Just one good time. Oh, you better, you better get it with some cheese grits, some mm. cheese grits, and some eggs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, Louise, who you got, man? I'm, I'm, I'm sticking with Champ. To me, this is to to me. I mean, yeah, I'm sticking with Champ. The reason I think the the main thing that separates. Ben from the other two was in the greatest super, in my opinion, the greatest Super Bowl of all time. That was one of the greatest adversity plays that a quarterback can ever make. And I haven't seen Russ or Matthew Stafford make any come close to a play that Big Ben made in that Cardinal Super Bowl. Like Big Ben, when Big Ben probably has one of the probably had one of the best adversity drives ever. Like that was that was one of the best. Um, Stafford did but, pull off a comeback in that victory against the Bengals that passed the Cooper Cup, though. Yeah, th- he did, he did. But that throw to San Antonio. Oh was yeah, that timer, one. man. Mm-hmm. That drive too, just an all-time drive. But that's that, that's what separate. That's kind of what separates them. 
Yeah, I thought that they I thought they had lost that game after Larry Fitzgerald. I thought so too. I thought that game was gone. I'm like, oh man, Fitzgerald and Kurt Warner has bought a Super Bowl to Arizona of all teams. Oh, this over. To me, that's the greatest Super Bowl of all time, man. You will never find a better game like that, in my opinion. Like better than this better than this year's Super Bowl? Twenty eight to three was yeah. better than that Super Bowl, I believe. I know 20, my faculty was on I know my faculty was on the receiving end of a loss that day, but twenty eight to three, that was arguably the best Super Bowl you ever want to see because that was a, that, that was a great Super Bowl. Because yeah. that Super Bowl right there was like you knew it, it was like, man, this is over. Everybody was saying this is over. But even myself, I was like, that is Tom Brady. I don't really trust this Vic, this margin of victory right now. Let me sit down somewhere. Let's I'm go. surprised y'all didn't mention giant the, the the giant Super Bowls, particularly the first one. David Tyree. Yeah. David I, I, got, oh. I, I like oh. the Eagles versus Patriots Super Bowl. When that was Nick another good one. Tom Brady. Uh, Eagles yeah. and Chiefs is another great one. That yeah. was that was a phenomenal Super Bowl. But to me, that oh man, just everything that happened in that Steelers game versus Arizona, like the James Harrison pick six and the the Fitzgerald play, the the San Antonio Holmes catch, just oh everything about that Super Bowl was just magical. Like if I had to show a casual football fan like one game, that would probably be the game. Not gonna lie. Hey, that soup that interception. If I can have like twenty seconds, PSP. You know that interception happened because that whole runback situation sequence happened because Mike Tomlin was discovering that they was that the only thing that they were trying to do was get the ball and get out on the ground. Mm-hmm. They said, and then Mike Tomlin was trying to make them make them literally run drills in order to say, "Hey, if you get an interception, we need to try for a touchdown." And that's mm-hmm. how that's how they end up running that touchdown back with James Harrison. That that's elite coaching right there. That's elite Tomlin right there. That's I'm starting coaching. Big Ben. I'm starting Big elite Ben. Coach. And the reason why I'm starting Big Ben, you mentioned this champ. He won with two different head coaches, Bill Cowher, Mike Tomlin, and a cornerstone franchise like the Steelers. People forget how very mobile young Ben was, especially out of the way he shrugged off defenders, champ. People forget just how mobile and how well he could extend the play better than most. I mean, the reason why he wore number seven is because of his childhood hero, John Elway, and how the way he can shrug off and move and manipulate. I'm a bench rush because I think early on, I think early on in their careers, I think Russ was a better passer early on in his career than I think Ben was. Ben, when he became a better passer, was 2011, 2012, or 2013, and years on when he had Antonio Brown, though. Early on in Ben's career, he wasn't that great as a uh, great as a passer. I mean, early on in his career, yeah, but he wasn't. I mean, it, there was a lot of. I mean, I remember that he had the worst stats in a right. well, quarterback in Super Bowl history. <laughs> so he, he's not lying. Yeah, I have to cut Stafford. Unfortunately, I think Stafford. I, I just love those passes that he makes, though. I mean, I, I love them coming out of that 09 draft. I was at that 09 draft. And uh, shout out to my man, Mirror the Go. Russ deserves more credit for his deep balls. Yeah, Russ at the time during his time in Seattle threw beautiful deep balls, particularly to Doug Baldwin and the crew, and also to Jermaine Curse for the game winning touchdown pass in the NFC Championship game, in which, by the way, he threw four interceptions and to persevere the way that he did. I'm starting Ben. I'm benching Russ. I'm cutting Stafford. But Stafford, though. He's not a Hall of Famer, but if he could get to a couple more Pro Bowl appearances and win another Super Bowl, and he and if he wins a Super Bowl MVP, then I think it's fair more than enough to say he's a Hall of Famer. Because if we're going to say Eli's a Hall of Famer, mm-hmm. then I think that should apply to Stafford if he can get those types of accomplishments. If he can get another Super Bowl, I can put him in there. But I can't put you in there if you – my thing is with Eli – What's going to get him in there? And I've said this. He he rewrote history. He rewrote history, and you cannot write the history of NFL without Eli at this point. So, But you damn sure would not put him as a first ballot. Hell no. Hell no. No. If he's first ballot, the ballot weak. (laughs) If he's first ballot, the ballot weak. Uh, No, no, sir. 